Look, if you two oh, don't oh, mind. Uh, well, uh, Ross and I are just reliving old times. I can see Lillian. that, dear, but this is a hospital. It's not the backseat of the car. Lillian, home. it's his back. What is it, the old football injury? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, get you a doctor. Okay? Yeah, make sure he has a crowbar. You stay right there, Ross. Oh, Do I have a choice, Lillian? Oh, Lillian, Lillian, wait, 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 wait. If you, if you help me, I can help him. Oh, I don't know. That's no, so tricky. You're you know? telling me. No, 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 wait, wait. Put your hand right there. Okay. Yeah. Well, careful. Uh, so you okay, have to move. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, everybody just cool. Come on now. Okay. Ella, what are you doing? Everybody just cool it. Okay. Ross, I, Ella. I just want you to relax you now, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, now. Ah! Ah! Huh. How's that? That's better. That's better? Yeah, that's much better. Oh. Hey, George, I think she's got it. Yeah, I'd forgotten that. You always said know how to handle my back. You always know how to handle me, period. I don't know how you've gotten along without me all these years. Neither do I. Ah, uh, Ross, you huh. sure you're okay? Oh, uh... Yeah. Go minister to the sick, really, and he'll be just fine. Why don't you come over and sit down for a minute? Hey, Kella, where are we going? Oh, well, well, you have to, you have to take it easy for a little while now. You no, know? no, no, wait a minute. I have an appointment. I'm no, late no, already. No, 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 no. Oh. Now, don't tell me you've forgotten about my famous massages, too. Oh, how could I? Every Monday morning history class it was. Oh, I had to take care of my big hero, didn't I? After bruised and battered after the football game. Mm. It's all coming back to me now. Looks like I haven't lost my touch. You fell asleep then, too. I did not. Yes, you did. Every single time, Mr. Bonin had a fit. Do you what? remember? No, you didn't put me to sleep. It was Bonin the nerd that put me to sleep. You know, that man knew so much about the Civil War. He knew so much about it because he'd been in it. <laughs> he was really funny, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, we shared a lot of laughs back then, didn't we, Ross? Uh -huh. You and me and Gordon. How is Gordon? Oh, I, I really wouldn't know. We, we broke up years ago. Kella, I can't believe that you'd let Mr. Most Likely to Succeed get away. I don't want to talk about it, Ross. Well, how do you like being back here in Springfield? Is it different? Oh, it's a lot bigger than it used to be. I think Jesse and I are going to do real well here. You and your daughter are going to be staying here? Oh, yes. Didn't you know? Your homecoming queen of 1968 has finally come home to stay. 1966, Kella. Oh, come on, Ross. 1968. No, math was always your worst well, subject. Well, history was your worst. Are you mad? Listen, no. hard as nails, tough as bricks. Wait. We're the class of 66. No, 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 no. Roses are red. Now, if a rhyme with A, you'd be okay, but it's 1966. <laughs> no, no, it was 1968. It's early in the day. Oh, me neither. Oh, you poor kids, you haven't had much of a honeymoon, have you? You can say that again. Hey, listen, we can't complain. It is money in the bank, you know? Yeah, well, I've settled for you and me in a nice warm bed. A nice warm bed, huh? Mm -hmm. I like that. Don't bother, I'll get it. Yep. Company! Hi! Oh, wait a minute, why are you calling in the middle of the day? Is something wrong? I wish Roxy wasn't so busy at the foundation. You know, we could really use your help around here. I know. Had I known how busy it was going to be over there around holiday time, too, I would have asked Santa for some elves to help out with the slack. <laughs> yeah, elves. Ho, ho, ho. Listen, I, I'll call the temp agency. Yeah. You might not have to do that. What? Beth and Jesse just walked in. Beth, Jesse, you're just in time. For what? Well, Kurt and I are swamped here. Bea is on the phone. And... I'll help you, Mindy. Thank you, Jesse. What about you, Beth? Well, sure, I can sing hash with the best of them. We don't serve hash here, Beth. You, <laughs> you know that. Are you sure that we're not taking advantage here? No! I mean, it's fun here, and I like to work here. Everybody's so nice. And look, I won't work here unless I get an apron, just like Mindy's. <laughs> All right, hey. coming right up. Hey. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Uh, listen, listen, uh, you, uh, you are angels for helping out, both of you. So nice. Great. Where do I fly? I gotta get my apron on. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. goes right over there. Oh, okay. Okay, and here you go. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna get the Bloody Marys for a bit. Great. What do I do? Hey. Uh, how about seeing what those two guys want right over there? Okay. Hey. And Jesse, are you serious about uh, about liking and helping out around here? Oh, I love it. I mean, it's like having friends over. How would you like to do it full time and get paid for it? 
really offering me a job here? You bet I am, starting today. Hey, hey hon, hey, we're about to die of thirst over here, huh? At least think about it, OK? OK. <laughs> I miss him. I miss him, too. Hey. How's your honeymoon going? Can't you tell? It's like one big party. Yeah. And two coffees also, right? Right. Okay. Hey, hey, don't I know you from someplace? <laughs> no, I don't think so. That's the oldest line in the book. <laughs> Junior Dairy Prentice of Southern Wisconsin, right? Junior Dairy. <laughs> hey, you should have seen this girl in her bathing suit. Oh, I don't like about you. to set that place on fire. Hey, I'll get your, get your hands off of her. I think you owe her an apology. I mean, she's a waitress, not a sideshow. All right, I'm sorry. I didn't mean no offense. Listen, uh, all the ladies in this bar are ladies. If you can't behave like gentlemen, you're out of here. All right. Yeah. You just let me know if that ever happens again, okay? Oh, of course I'm gonna come, honey. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Yeah, I, uh... I think Kurt can manage without me. <laughs> Got them, now. Got what? Tickets for the video award ceremony. I'm escorting you so you can accept Blue Jack's award. I know I hurt you, boy. I am sorry. You lied to me day after day, week after week, month after month. It was all because of Riva, wasn't it? You told me that I was your son to keep me away from your wife. Kyle. She was slipping away from me. I had to do something. Oh, yeah. So you decided to play dirty. You lied and you cheated. I had to. You're young. You're everything she ever wanted. Everything that you didn't want Reba to have. No, no, no. You don't understand, boy. I was looking at the grave. That woman brought me to life. I was afraid I couldn't go on without her. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to go on at all. A pathetic excuse for selfishness. I did it for you and Billy, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did it out of a last-ditch hope that maybe you could hold on to Lewis or you could save it for your real son, huh? No, no, no. I watched the hate between the two of you grow. It scared me to death, Kyle. I had to stop that feud before it was too late, before yeah. the two of you hurt each before other. Before I whipped the rest of the Lewises, is what you mean. You and Billy had to be together. Before I ground him into the dust. You had to love each other like brothers should. Oh, you're crazy, old man. Billy isn't my brother. Yes, he is, Kyle. Yes, he is. Oh, Ty.